Hello guys, this is another noodle or ramen uh, video. I found this odd, it's like an Asian but also Indian dish. Uh, it's called Singapore Curry La Mian. I think they might have meant La Main, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just pronouncing it wrong or what. But it says premium noodle in aromatic curry soup. So it's basically, it smells a lot like an Indian curry, but it's in, you know, like what looks like Chinese style noodles. So we are going to try them and see how it is. Um, the only thing I added was some onions or scallions, green onions, and um, I cut up some habanero pepper, but I'm not going to put that in until later because I don't want to taint the the natural flavor of the soup, so uh, I'm gonna try the broth first. It becomes pretty thick. There's a two packets you add, and one of them looks like it has cornstarch in it, which probably is why it thickens up a little bit. Mmm, it's good. It's actually pretty spicy too, so I may not even need to add peppers to it. <laughs> it's spicy enough to kinda choke you up a bit. Mmm. It's got a lot of flavor. It's very uh, savory and warm. Um, it definitely, it, it reminds me of Indian curry. Maybe uh, slightly more, like, I don't know, it's pretty close to, like, what I've had as far as standard curry goes. Um, It's nice. It's got like a nice balance of salty and savory type flavors. I taste a lot of the same spices that are in curry normally. So yeah, this is good. <coughs> it is like a nice warming meal. I'm gonna see what the noodles are like. Mmm. Man, this is good. With the noodles, that I think it said they are... They're steamed, so they're like air-dried. And they don't have as much oil and junk in them that a lot of the cheaper ramen have. So I guess they're trying to sell this as kind of like a healthy instant ramen kind of thing. It did take longer to cook too, and it's probably because of that, the air drying. Um, I had to cook this for seven minutes, and most ramen are anywhere from two to five minutes, depending on like thickness of the noodle and everything. So this one takes a little bit longer, but it's really not that big of a deal. The noodles are nice and firm. They taste, um, like they absorb the sauce really well too, so they have a lot of flavor. I would say it's pretty good. Um, there's almost a smoky flavor underneath a lot of the curry spices. Like, like usually curry has, I, I would say it's like savory with maybe a little bit of sweetness up front. Like a mild earthy sweetness. But this has a smoky earthy kind of flavor. So I like this a lot. Oh yeah, I added meatballs to it also, but I don't think those really, they're not going to affect the flavor that much. But yeah, this is really good. Found it at one of the same Asian markets I tend to get all my other stuff from, so it was just like one that I haven't tried before, so I just grabbed it. But um, it's pretty good. It says it's actually, yeah, the factory's actually in Singapore, so it's definitely made there. Prima Food, I guess, is the main manufacturer. But yeah, it's good. It's worth trying. I can't figure out exactly what the brand name is because there's all kinds of names all over. I guess the brand name might be Singapore <laughs> or Singapore Curry or Prima Taste. I guess, yeah, Prima Food is the maker, so maybe this is called Prima Taste, like as a brand. But um, it's good. It's worth trying, so... 
if you ever see it at the Asian market, grab one. And that's it for now. I'm I'm still <laughs> at some point I'm going to do more with this channel. Um, I'm just like I say in every video now, my work is like sucking away my life, so I don't have a lot of time to do these creative things anymore, but um, I'm working on it, and I'm planning to do more, so hopefully we'll see you guys soon. I'll look for some more weird ramen or new ramen to try, so I'll probably be back with at least one of those. See you guys later. Bye.